This is an orc stomper that I made out of parts um, and construction plastic. That's um, that's the construction plastic. There'll be a video um, about the construction of this when this one's been uploaded. That one's going to take a bit a bit of time to edit though, so it's not going to be up just yet. But what I can do is sort of show you the, the detail of this. This is obviously, you know, the rough sort of just constructed look. Um, so I can talk you through the parts or, or the sort of vision at least. Um, the roughest part of it I think is the chainsaw arm. I made that out of I don't think I've got any of them left, but that bit of toothed plastic there, this, this, the chainsaw was carved from a box divider. The turret is a Matilda 2 turret from Warlord Games and that's just to, to revive the sort of shoulder joint and then the box section, the motor and, and so on is um, just sprue plastic sandwiched between um, more construction plastic and I've deliberately left it rough because uh, when it's painted it'll, it'll make more sense. So yeah, I think that that's probably the roughest part of the build. I might change that as it goes, I'm not sure. The revision ports on the stomper, so in the side and in the front, like on the, the one on the, on the side. Um, oh, its base is a, it's a five inch, what they used to call a pie plate when we used to use templates in the game. The feet are Matilda 2 track sections with box dividers to give them some width. And then it's all glued onto uh, an upturned movement tray to give it some stability. That's just random bits of plastic glued on. Um, what else? So the, the the gun is like a, a sort of a B seventeen belly turret made out of a Chimera door or is it front armor plate? I'm not sure. And then just different pieces of construction plastic with um, with a little vision port in the back. That's probably part of the Dreadnought. That's an old Chaos Vehicle um, accessory. There's this little, oh, I'm getting caught on things. There's this little fella in the back, making sure no one gets up the ladders. Um, then this platform. Platform essentially just houses the exhausts. There's nothing else on the platform. It's just there, um, as I guess as like a little fighting platform, and also a way for the crew to get from here to here. These little pieces of old rhino. There was a blade. That was part of an original orc battle wagon that I had in 3rd edition and I didn't have the heart to throw it away so I kept those sections in case they were ever useful and they were useful for this. Um, there's a Torox weaponry with a little gunner. Um, in the, the, the sort of the pink squat space marines that I made and I bought three old um, orc war buggies I had crewman left over so he's one of them and so he made actually a pretty good gunner for the um for the big shooter or whatever it's called I don't actually I've never I haven't played a game of Warhammer 40,000 properly in um it's like eight years but I build stuff you know because I like building stuff so anyway that was it um there'll be it, it's really quite heavy it, it's off off of the table um if you were gonna give, sorry for the mess on the desk, if you were gonna give it like 
scale for size. Um, so that's a plastic glue. Um, da, da, da. So that's a plastic glue. Okay. Well, I mean, I suppose actually the orcs up top give it scale, don't they? Um, and they're battle cannon barrels. So that's the orc from the Gretchen set or Groth set. I don't like the idea of orcs going around beating my Gretchen up, so I never used him, but he's, he's useful for this. And that's the bustle from a Lehmannus turret. And obviously that's a Torox scale. So you can sort of see the scale just from the parts, really. Um, so yeah, that was it.